Welcome to the session on inculcating good habits in children. A habit is a behavior that children repeat often, almost without thinking. As parents, it is your duty to inculcate good habits in your child. Watch till the end, make notes, participate and discuss with your partner. For the best outcome, watch the videos together and let the learnings help you to inculcate good habits in your child. The most successful people became successful due to their development and conservation of good and healthy habits and elimination of the habits that have weakened them or harmed them. Routines are sequences of actions that become habits when followed regularly. Organizing activities into routines makes you more effective. As with all things involving memory and learning, activities often become easier and less time consuming by virtue of practice. Therefore, it is important to organize activities into routines to be more effective and efficient. Designing healthy routines is important. It is especially important for active people. Healthy routines turn into good habits that in turn reduce stress and error. Habits create mental shortcuts that benefit and empower us by allowing us to be faster and more efficient at decision making. This way, the majority of our decision making energy goes towards accomplishing harder tasks. There are certain concerns which most of the parents face while raising their toddlers. Let us discuss them at length and share some easy solutions. Tantrums Temper tantrums are the most common and often become frustrating for both parent and the child. Toilet training is another very sensitive issue where the parents struggle to know how and when they start. Shyness your often outgoing toddler becomes shy when he meets strangers. Bedtime and sleep. Children often lose control when they want to sleep and creates extra pressure on the parent as they often have a routine to follow. And eating habits. Most children pick their food sometimes much to the annoyance of their parents. Fussy or picky eaters, that is how they are often labeled. Let us discuss each one of them in detail and get easy solutions. Toddlers often lose their temper at a moment's notice for maybe just anything. Many parents often feel ashamed of the tantrum scene and best avoid going to public places with their angry toddler. It may be hard for you to understand, so it is best to 1. Prevent the tantrum. You know your child well enough to spot the early warning signs, so take the cues to distract your child's attention. 2. Stay calm. If you shout or lose control, the situation would worsen. So the best is to go with the flow and stay calm until your child settles. 3. Give reassurance. Give him a firm cuddle to pacify his anger and assure him that everything will be alright. One is, I understand. And second one is, all will be fine. These are the two very effective reassurances for the child. 4. Talk later. Please refrain from giving logic at that very moment. Children are most receptive during bedtime. So try and complete the tantrum episode analysis during bedtime only. 5. Be confident. Do not feel guilty for your child's breakdown. Be confident enough to understand that this is a passing phase of your growing child. Your child acquires the ability to control his bladder and bowels between 16 to 36 months of age. But as we all know that, stimulation is the key. You shall start early. Start toilet visits early with your infant. Use the toilet even when your child is incapable of using it just to let him know and copy as he grows. You shall be optimistic. Remind yourself that every day is not a Sunday. And so, there may be occasional breakdowns even after your regular efforts. Do not feel disheartened until he is toilet trained. You shall make it a fun time. Talk, narrate stories, play I spy or sing rhymes for your child to get interested while mastering nature's call. You shall avoid confusion. Do not confuse your child between diapers and pants while toilet training. Switch from nappies or diapers to trainer pants for avoiding accidents. And you shall monitor the time. Over the period of time, 
you will be able to forecast the toilet timing of your child. Use these cues to achieve success in making your child toilet trained and independent. A child spends most of his time at home and in known environments. Majorly, the first three years of the growing child are spent with known ones only. So, it is very common for a child to hide out in the presence of strangers. Do not fuss over it, rather socialize. Keep making frequent visits to friends and relatives or call them over or meet and greet strangers while walking in the park, in the elevator, while shopping, etc. Be the role model of socializing. Count his strengths. Children often feel that other children won't like him or share with him, so they shy away. Count the strengths of your child. Let him know that he is such a fun company. Engage him. Suddenly, when there is a stranger, your child falls short of words or what to do. So practice some ice-breaking strategies like asking names, taking turns, inviting others to play with and attractive conversation starters. Role play. Often playing games of meeting new people and acting out how to mingle with them will help the child break the ice. It often gets very challenging when you are tired but your child still wants to play and not sleep when you have a never-ending list of errands to accomplish. Avoid frequent naps. Restrict your child to a single nap during the day so that he falls asleep at the right time at night. Don't get angry. Your tiring day has nothing to do with your child. So avoid getting angry and divide your duty of putting your child to sleep with your partner when you are disturbed. Make it a fun time. Read stories, have pillow fights, play hide and seek, dance to some music or just gaze at the stars but make it a fun family time. Have a routine. Bedtime routines help your child to know that it's time to call off. Maybe the fun time activities, brushing, massaging, night walks or anything that sets his mood to sleep. Make it cozy. Block all the potential disturbances like light, sound, or other distractions. Let him sleep on his bed with his pillow or his favorite stuff around him. There is one thumb rule which you must know and respect as a parent. You cannot force your child to eat. You can only facilitate the process of eating. Let your child choose. The child will be more interested in eating if she has given some choices of food to eat during a particular meal time. Involve. As your child grows, involve her in the process of cooking. It may be as small as bringing the vegetables to you or laying the table or serving or just sitting near you while you cook or vegetable shopping. Happy time. Meal times are supposed to be relaxing times. So avoid eating in front of a television or having any serious discussions. Meal times can be made happy instead of creating any fuss. Make it interesting. The same food can be presented in different colors, shapes, sizes or plates. Make meal times special and interesting. Appreciate. Parents often complain about how much portion the child leaves on the plate. Rather appreciate their efforts and how much they have finished. This will make them look forward to the next meal time. 5210 ways of staying healthy is a recommendation from the Mayo Clinic and American Academic Medical Center focused on integrated health care, education and research. There are various ways to start a good habit but we often lose track and feel unmotivated to walk that path of good habits. To develop the right habits in your child, you may follow an easy way of 5210 health plan. The plan suggests that on a daily basis, 5 include at least five varieties of fruits and vegetables in the diet. Two, restrict the unproductive screen time to two hours in the daily entertainment plan. One, indulge in any sort of physical activity for at least one hour. Zero, consume zero sugar sweetened foods. Avoid added sugar in the diet. Let me elaborate them one by one. Five or more fruits and vegetables per day. Add a variety of fruits and vegetables to your child's daily diet 
that provides important nutrients needed to keep him healthy. Here are some suggestions to make it possible. Cut or chop the fruits or vegetables into good slices or dice them into salads. You may give the fruit an interesting shape with a cutter. You may garnish the food with herbs or fruits to make the dish look attractive like adding toppings to the pizzas, the burgers, the waffles and so on. You may make fruit juices, smoothies or vegetable soups or stews. You may stuff parathas or add veggies to make sandwiches. 2 hours or less screen time Did you know that too much screen time can lead to more calories intake, poor grades and trouble sleeping? It is recommended that your child should not spend more than 2 hours a day on screen for recreation on television, video games, computers, tablet or smartphone. Make your child's screen time interesting. You can reward him or give consequences on tasks accomplished or not. This can be a scheme of incentive to your child which is worth fighting for. Like let them watch TV only after they finish homework or chores. You watch with your child for some time at least so that he is making informed choices. One hour or more physical activity. Being active for one hour or more a day is one of the best thing your child can do to boost endorphins and improve his overall health. Staying active also keeps him healthy, makes him stronger, improves his flexibility and makes his heart happy. Simple ways to keep moving include taking the stairs instead of elevators, going for family walks, playing with your pet, exercising, cycling, running, swimming, etc. Zero sugary drinks. Your child needs six to eight glasses of water a day. Avoid sugar or sugary products or beverages as much as possible. A good water intake supports digestion, circulation, the transportation of nutrients and maintenance of body temperature. You may make the water interesting for your child by adding fresh lime, mint leaves, basil leaves or orange slices. Any natural form of sugar found in honey or fruits or dry fruits is beneficial to the body instead of additives like in colas, juices, ice creams, chocolates, etc. Inculcating good habits in your child is your responsibility and we have suggested many ways of doing the same. All that we have discussed has come from various experiences and can be tried easily with your child. Sometimes habits could be comforting your child, while sometimes they could be consoling him. They actually display the inner fears or anxiety of your child no words could express. Take cues from your child's habits and help him navigate his feelings more constructively. With this note, we come to an end of this session. Stay tuned for more such sessions to enhance your parenting roles and responsibilities. Till then, wish you a happy parenting and a child of your dreams. Parents often feel proud to have a well-mannered child. We cover parents, you discover parenting on my Shishu app. Goodbye.